All right, you all, let's go ahead. Let's get started. This is an awesome feature. I've been having fun with this feature, and I think you're going to love it, too, as well. Now, the name of the app is called AAAD. It stands for Android Auto Apps Downloader. Now, this is going to tie into your Android Auto. So if you don't have Android Auto, go ahead, download Android Auto from the Google Play Store. We'll go ahead. We'll leave a link to that in the description box down below. Also, with a link to AAAD. All right. Both of those will be in the description box down below. Now, what I need for you to do is click on the link. Don't try to put this in the URL or anything like that. I've tried that. It takes so long for it to download. So you want to go ahead, tap on that link in the description box. All right. So with that being said, why is this a good feature? Well, let's say you're waiting uh, for somebody to come out of a store like your wife she's in the grocery store you're in the car waiting and you can watch a YouTube video you can watch news uh, I think this is an awesome feature or if I'm on my lunch break I can sit here and I can watch a video I can watch a movie while I'm eating my lunch or if you're at a soccer game with your daughter you know and you're sitting in the car and you want to watch a video you can go ahead and watch a YouTube video or other videos in your car that you have downloaded to your smartphone all right so this is why I think it is a cool feature feature to have in your car. Now, here's one thing you need to know. Whatever you do, do not watch this while you are driving. The police will pull you over and get a ticket and they will be able to see it easier than you believe. All right. So there's not a feature that cuts this off when the car starts or anything like that. It will play while the car is driving. All right. So whatever you do, don't do that. I don't even think twice about doing it. But if I'm sitting in the garage and I'm waiting on the wife to come out, we're about to go to a function or to the grocery store, I might watch a quick video while I wait on her. So I think it's a cool feature to have in a car. And again, this ties to your Android Auto. So make sure you download Android Auto. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead. I'm about to give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to set this up on your smartphone so you can get this tied into your Android Auto and start watching YouTube videos and and other videos in your car. All right, with that being said, let's get started. All right, you all. So after you hit the link, it's gonna bring you to this page right here. Now, the beauty of this app is that you don't need no PC, you don't need developers option, you do not need to root this device at all. And this APK is not found in the Google Play Store, so there's no need to go there. All right, so when you scroll down, if you're having any issues with it, you may have to roll back Android Auto, but this page actually gives you everything you need to do in order to get it up and running on your smartphone. Now, again, you may have to roll back Android Auto. I have the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. I didn't have to, but again, it may depend on how old your phone is. All right, scroll up some more. You're going to see go to download. Tap on that, and then you're going to scroll up a little bit. You're going to see AAAD. 1.4.3 release APK, tap on that. Look down at the bottom and you're gonna see download. Hit download and it takes a second, right? Hit open down at the bottom. Now I'm gonna use package installer. I don't know what's gonna show up on your smartphone. So for whatever you're familiar with, go ahead and hit that. I'm gonna hit just once. I'm gonna hit install now and give it a couple of seconds. And then it's gonna prompt you to open up the AAAD. I mean, A A A D, and then down at the bottom, right? See, we gotta uh, allow open source, right? So you don't want to ignore it. You do want to go ahead and hit OK. Once you do that, it's gonna bring you to this page. Look up at the top. You should see A A A D. Tap on that, and it's gonna bring you here. So you want to hit the switch over to the right. It's gonna to toggle it over to the right, right? And then now you want to go back. Keep going back until you see this page. Now, a lot of people use Formata. I'm going to use CarStream because CarStream is just like using YouTube on your uh, PC and on your smartphone, right? But we are going to take a look at how Formata works as well and how it looks. It looks it's just as good as CarStream. It just doesn't allow me to sign into my YouTube, all right? So we're going to go into CarStream. Tap on that. Hit Allow. And once you hit allow, you're going to have to hit car stream again. It's going to bring up this page, right? Go ahead and tap the top one and then hit OK and then allow it to load. And then now it wants you to install. So wait a second. It's going to ask you to install. Now hit open. Now here's the thing I like about CarStream. Look up at the top over to the left. 
I can sign in. And for all the channels that I have, I can go into any one of those. So whatever I've been searching for on YouTube, uh, on my computer, on my smartphone, it's gonna show up. But you don't have to sign in. I'm quite sure you're concerned about security. I am not, but go ahead. Now you can watch YouTube. So watching it on the phone is not what we wanna do, right? We wanna be able to watch this on our car on the infotainment center, all right? So let's go ahead, let's check that out. All right, you all, let's go ahead, let's get started with this. Now this is what YouTube is gonna look like on your car, but before we get started, let me let you know this. First of all, you can download one app per month. I mean, this app has a few other apps that you may like. We're gonna focus on two apps, right? CarStream and Pomada Auto, all right? And those are gonna be two, the two that we're gonna compare so you can make a choice on which one is gonna be right for you out the door, all right? So with that being said, let's go ahead, let's check this out now. If you got wireless uh, Android Auto, then you're good to go for the rest of us. We gotta plug in our USB into our phone and then we can get started. Now, once you do, we're gonna press here on Android Auto. Now, what you're gonna look for is CarStream and Pomada Auto. Don't worry about Pomada Control, all right? You don't wanna worry about that. These are the two that we're gonna be taking a look at today, and they have different features on both, right? The format is gonna look different. Now, my favorite, right? I like both of them, I need both of them, but my favorite is CarStream. Now, CarStream is pretty nice, right? Why? Simply because it looks just like it does on the computer, right? But there's also an added bonus that really makes this one number one in my book, okay? Now, with that being said, as you can see on the side, you got Home, Explore, you can go into your subscriptions. At the top, you got what's related to what you have been watching. Check this out, right? I could go in, I could do, a, uh, let me let you see what this is. I can upload a video. I don't think so, <laughs> right? I'm just talking right now. This is gonna give you YouTube things. I mean, you got your notifications that you can go into. And I like this because I'm a content creator and I can go in and check this out, right? I can go in and check out all my information. If I wanna go to a different account, I can go to a different account. If I wanna change this to a uh, light mode, I can change it to light mode. So everything that I need for uh, my YouTube channels, I can go right here and take care of business. That's why I like it. This this is pretty awesome. So let me tap right here. You can do a search. Sometimes the mic, right, it works and it doesn't work, but you will be able to go ahead and type in your search. Now you're gonna get a keyboard that comes up on here, but it's also gonna come up on your smartphone. That shouldn't be a big deal, simply because you're gonna be sitting still anyway, right? And no driving, watching YouTube. Please, you guys, be safe. And so you can type in whatever you want to look for, or you can try to use the mic. Uh, again, they're temperamental, they work, they don't work. You can go back, you can go back to home, right? And this is actually pretty awesome. Let me show you. So if you tap here, it brings up the keyboard and it also brings up the keyboard uh, on your phone, right? So if you're finished with it, then you can just, I think, tap back on it and it should take it out. If not, just go to the home screen and you're all good. We're not gonna play any videos because of copyright issue. Uh, we don't know anything about free use, so we don't wanna take a chance. But I'm telling you, this plays fluid. You can also set the quality of the video as well. Uh, if it's playing a video in 1080, 1080p, it's gonna look absolutely awesome. But we're gonna go in and we're gonna show you, right? Uh, we're gonna go to our channel just to keep it safe. And we're gonna play, this video is playing already, right? I mean, this is nice. This is what it's gonna look like uh, when you play it. Uh, let's do this one. And that's it, you know? I mean, it's nice. It's not bad at all, right? It opens up, but you can also expand this. Just tap it a couple of times and it'll come up on the side here sometimes. Sometimes I have to do this and then go back in and then tap and then it'll open up, right, to make it fit. Just keep tapping until it fills the screen. I'm gonna go back here, I'm gonna go back to the home screen, and that's it, you all. This is absolutely nice, and if you wanna save, you can save it now. I know you're looking. Yes, I signed into mine. I'm not worried about that, but you do not have to sign in at all, if I'm not mistaken, okay? So this is cool. Now, here's the extra added bonus to this one, right? Check this out. Now, I'm gonna tap here. Now, if you put something in the search, right? Let's go ahead, let's tap here. 
Now, I could type in a whole name of whatever it is I'm looking for, right? It doesn't make a difference, right? It's not going to come up. This is what it's going to do if you write everything in. I'm just putting in one letter. Go ahead and hit search. It's going to bring you to Google. This is awesome, right? So if I want to look for something, again, the mics are temperamental. So let's see if it works for us. McDonald's. And it's going to pull up McDonald's. Now, it's a hit or miss depending on what you look up. Sometimes it won't bring up that particular thing that you're looking for. But for this one, we can go into the website. Right? We can go back out and we can go into order. Right? Now, I haven't tried this yet. So, if you want to try it, you can try it. I thought this was awesome. So, let's say I need to know how far it's going to take me to get somewhere. Let me scroll down. How long will it take me to get to Chicago? And then it's going to speak and then it's going to let you know how long it's going to take. This is absolutely awesome. You got a web browser in your car now if you need to look up anything. You want to look at clothes, you can go ahead, you can hit image and it'll bring up images or whatever it is you're looking for, like a chocolate cake or something like that. I thought this was absolutely awesome. And when you finish and you're done with this, go ahead, hit the home screen, go back to your YouTube channel play your videos, whether it be music videos, car videos, you can play whatever you want to play. This one plays crystal clear. I'm telling you, you are going to love this one. This should be a super short video. We're going to go to Fomato, right? You got YouTube. Now, this YouTube compared to the YouTube on CarStream is a lot different, but it functions the same. One thing I like about both, right? It boosts and enhances your music quality if you listen to a music video, right? Now, I can't listen to this one because of copyright, but I'm telling you, this thing beats. Now, here's um, uh, a commercial, right? So, nope, this is the video. Uh, I thought it was a commercial, but let's go back, right? Because what I like about this is that while the video is playing, you got all these other videos on the side. So if you want to go in and check out another video like Destiny's Child, you can go in and you can hit that right away. So I like this. This is nice. Now, I can go back, right? I can go into settings. I can uh, change the video quality if I want to. Video scaling, speed, timer, things of that nature. And the quality, depending on what it was recorded in, is how it's going to show. So if it was in 1080p or 1440, it's going to show absolutely awesome, right? And you can change the size uh, to fit differently as well. Me, I like for it to fill the whole screen. So let's go back, right? Because we want to go back to the home screen. I want to show you something. Check this out right here. Those are all your menus. Now, if you go onto your app, right, you got the same thing. You can control that from your phone, which is quite different from what you're going to be able to do on CarStream, right? So this may be a nice one for you all uh, who want a little bit more control on your smartphone. Now, remember, you're going to be stable. You're not going to be driving, you know, while you're trying to watch YouTube, okay? So with that being said, right, uh, here, I don't know what this is. I'm going to be honest with you. It says TV. I've been trying to mess with it. I'm still studying on that. The web browser, this will not let me sign in, and it's probably not going to let you sign in either, right? So don't worry about that. And, of course, we know this is YouTube. Now, again, you can control this from your phone, all right? So now for me, right, uh, in your files, you're gonna be able to go in and find all your videos that you have on your phone, right, for what you wanna download. So uh, I think I just have to hit this and then all my videos show up. For the ones I wanna play, it's gonna be right there. So if I wanna play Fast and Furious, I can play Fast and Furious, right? So I'm gonna go back here because I wanna show you something. Here, uh, it hasn't registered yet, but you can set this for your favorite and your playlist as well. So let me show you how you can watch videos, regular videos in your car, right? First, you got to have it downloaded. I started playing this video already. And um, let's see if I can get this to go again. And it, it plays, plays fluidly. There's no stutter. There's no lag. Again, everything is about the quality that you're having this play at. Uh, you can go in. You can check out and see, you know, what it's playing at. You got video. And so you can go in. You can mark ads. So there's a lot of things that you could do with this. But this was downloaded onto my smartphone. I put it in a certain folder so I could find it and play 
regular videos while I'm on my lunch break, right? And the audio is through the roof. I'm telling you, you're gonna enjoy this. This is tight. So in order to get back, right, you're looking for the menu. Hit this button right here, it raises it up, and for whatever you need to control, you can control it from here. So if you need to get back to YouTube, press that, and it brings you right back to YouTube. Hit play, and then you can start your YouTube up again. So I thought this was an awesome app, right? Uh, so far as YouTube is concerned and watching videos, I wish I was able to watch videos off a car stream so I could do everything I want to do in one app, but that's okay because this is an easy switch too uh, to get from one app to the, to the other, and this is absolutely nice. So yes, you can watch YouTube and play videos in your car. All right, you all, hit me in the comment section down below. Let me know your thoughts. Um, make sure you hit the like button before you leave. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead, subscribe to the channel. Uh, help me out here. We're trying to get to a thousand subscribers and we're trying to get to 4,000 watch time hours. All right. So with that being said, you all, I'm going to see you all at the next video. Enjoy life. Have some fun. And remember to remember to please you all be safe.